Gemini, welcome back everyone. I hope you're all doing fabulous. Gemini, thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you so much for liking the videos, commenting, subscribing, guys. So, Gemini energy. What does Gemini need to see, know, or hear? First card out, status quo. Great gratitude, ascendant masters, something to be grateful for from the ascendant masters. Keep optimistic, be in the energy of peace and have joyful fun. What is going on here? What the hell, someone is stuck now. Somebody is trying to live up to the status quo. What the hell is this? What the hell is going on here? There is a masculine energy who is feeling stuck. Um, there's a feminine energy sitting here being afraid because it's almost as if whoever this energy is, clearly different energies, whoever this feminine energy is in the energy of gratitude, they are manifesting like megafold. The Ascendant Masters are backing whoever this energy is. They're rejoicing. They are being, they're full of peace. They're just having a great life here. Uh, and getting a lot of achievements and rewards and recognitions that they deserve, according to the Ascendant Masters. Now we have a masculine energy over here who is looking at this feminine, realizing that we got three energies here, without a doubt. Wow. Let's see where this is going, Gemini. So we got one feminine who's doing incredibly well. Like major milestones, major achievements, feeling on top of the world here. We have a masculine energy who is discovering something about another feminine energy. So now this feminine energy is in fear because this masculine feel stuck where they are and is like looking at this feminine over here as being very abundant. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, let's go. This could be a divine masculine. Being very sensitive right now, but are becoming aware, discovering something. Becoming aware of something. This could be a sensitive subject. This person is free. So they're not coupled. They're free. They're independent. This could be a Leo. So this is a 5D union. Now this masculine wants the feminine's forgiveness. Okay. There is a presence of another connection here. 
which is this person here. We'll just keep them there. <laughs> so the masculine is wants this feminine's forgiveness. Um, there's a presence of a third party here, another feminine. And they're in a connection with this person. They could be in a commitment with this person. But this is a 5D union over here. A fifth dimensional union. So what you're going to do here, this is somebody who has a lot of integrity, okay? A lot of self-worth, a lot of self-respect. And this feminine is afraid and fragmented because they know damn well this masculine has a 5D connection with another feminine. And they're in a commitment. Gemini. They may have a family with this feminine. And this feminine is fearful because they know darn well that this masculine has feelings still for this, I'm going to say empress. It hasn't come out yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So this feminine is feeling... They know something's up. They're like, name that thing. It is time for this king to rise up to being who they were meant to be. Look. Look. The universe is telling this masculine to choose love. Because they were juggling. They were being bullheaded. Seek inspiration. So they know they want to take a leap of faith on this 5D connection. Maybe they have a family with this person or in a family connection. They pushed the Empress away. Because they could have children, or there's children involved here. They're disappointed with their option. They're disappointed with their choice. Sad. Regretful. Huh. They fell for the old trap, did they?
They could have married somebody for financial stability, thinking that was going to make them happy. Or that, you know, they should have chose love. They chose money. <laughs> they could have a child or children with this person. But it's all status quo. It's all... living up to what looks good on the surface. It's all status quo. They are in a commitment with this person, but it's all for show. It's for show. It's for... They consider it a burden. They juggled. And... They pushed the Empress away. They just ignored them. Rejected them. Thinking that, you know, it's there's something better else out there. Something more, someone or something more successful or something... They did not choose love, so they chose something, they, they didn't choose love. It's for status quo. Like I said, could be children involved. So they spy on the person from their past. They have high regard. They, this is someone who has self-worth, integrity. They could have ended it or this person could have ended it with them. Because they weren't going to be, and they trusted their instincts. This person was being, they weren't going to be juggled, breadcrumbed. This person was acting on their own behalf, acting on their own self-interest. <clears throat> Put this empress in a competition. Started sneaking around. That ended that commitment. Well, they were in a commitment with this Empress, okay? But they got greedy. Didn't care about commitment, you know? was looking for financial gain. Status. What will improve my status? Will this Empress improve my status? No, but the Queen of Pentacles will. That's, they chose money over love. Thinking that, oh, this empress is never going to have 
they're never going to have. They're not going to have big money. They're not going to have. That's why Spirit is blessing them with it. They betrayed a 5D connection for money, status. Just turned her back on it. The truth could have been because they had a family. You re put your soul. Manipulation. Either this emperor was manipulating or they're being manipulated. Hmm. Look at this. They end up with the Ten of Pentacles. This is Nine of Pentacles and Spirit is blessing them with another pentacle. That's Ten Pentacles. That's what they passed over on. They thought that this uh, Empress was five of pentacles, worried that they weren't going to have enough money. So they chose a feminine who they thought they could achieve status with. Spirit told them, choose love, and they chose money. Say. This person is pissed off and angry of their choice. I don't know if this is a karmic masculine. But they're pissed off. Stressed out. Stuck. I told you. They feel stuck. And that's, they're, they're stuck in their own karma. What am I going to say here? I feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for them. Spirit told this person, choose love. They chose money. Status. Who can make me do, make me look better? Um, material things. This is karmic justice. So the one who they thought had nothing <laughs> has the Ten of Pentacles. That ace is unlimited because it comes from the universe. So they were the Nine of Pentacles all along. Confident, looking after themselves. They were this person all along. They worked their ass off for this. They were traveling to see a third party when this one was busy working in silence. Working real hard. 
this is a leader. This is the one they ended things with. That was their 5D connection. Oh my god. They ended a 5D connection to go travel to see a third party. Trying to like live high on the hog. Look at us. We're like a power couple. Don't we look good together? Could be in the spotlight. You know, high profile. Like, we're going to spend all this money. We're going to gain all this money. This one ends up with the money. <laughs> and that's their karma. what I tell you? The Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> they end up with all the money. And now this person is stuck looking at this person with all this generational wealth. These are gifts from the universe. This person worked really, really hard to achieve. This is a high achiever. This is someone who has a lot of integrity, respect for themselves and others. This is someone who has worked very hard for their money. It was not handed to them. <laughs> the universe is handing it to them, knowing perfectly well how deserving of it that they are. So they're all stressed out. They couldn't make a decision. They couldn't choose. And this person is not going to be juggled. By any means. It's not going to happen. An empress will not tolerate it. Put up with it. They have too much class. They have too much integrity. To be juggled. This one classy broad here. This empress. <laughs> I knew it was the Empress. Too much class. I can feel it in the energy. This lady is class. Masculine lady. Take it as resonates. The Empress is the Empress. Class. Perfection. Classy. Too much dignity and respect for themselves to be juggled. You can't decide, I'll decide for you. I don't need to be here. I do not need to accept being juggled. I don't need to be. I head it out. <laughs> They listen to their guides. <laughs> Could be a temperance angel, an earth angel. I don't know. Move it on. Moving on. And this person is stuck, apparently, stuck in their karma. So this person actually dished out their own karma. The two of them. They are dishing out their own karma. This is weird. Spirit doesn't have to deliver karma here. They delivered it to themselves. They just didn't know it. This person is stuck, stressed out, in a relationship, they give up a 5D relationship for a 3D relationship. The treasures of a 5D relationship are limitless. You want to talk power? 
that's power. When you're on God's side, <laughs> you want power and status. They gave up power and status. Because spirit don't play that game. Spirit don't play with people's feelings. Spirit don't play with 5D relationships. When spirit set up these contracts, this person was all in. Yeah, yeah. I want a 5D connection. I want to be an emperor. I want to be an emperor. Well, many are called, but few are chosen. And this person turned their back on a 5D connection for a 3D connection? For materialism? What the heck do they think that this is? <laughs> That's unlimited resources. Spirit told them, choose love. Because they could not choose. They could not choose. And all they had to do is choose love. They waited out. Oh. Oh, should I or shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? What should I do? Who should I choose? Should I choose materialism? Status? I, I'm, I'll look good. The devil starts talking then, you know? That's the pros and the cons. Well, I'll look good on, you know, some... Buddy, like this hanging off my arm. How do you think you're going to look with an empress hanging off your arm? See, the empress don't showboat. The empress, you know, isn't about materialism. Look, they like things nice things don't mind you that but they don't have to prove anything to anybody they look good because of who they are on the inside not on the outside so somebody might have looked to this person better on the outside but on the inside they don't even like them they're superficial. They're fake. Everything about them is fake. So you give up four queens for one, a superficial one, because that's who the Empress is. Four queens have all the abilities, skills, to manifest whatsoever they want. They are the magician. Really, they are. Because they have all the tools that all four of the queens possess. So they traded four <laughs> for one. One superficial one. And that's their own karma they delivered to themselves. This empress never had to do a thing. Say a word. Not one word. Silence. But spirit told this person to choose love.
and they chose superficiality. And they are reaping their karma. They did it to themselves. This is crazy. Like, I've never seen anybody do that. Like, as well clear as what this message is delivering, Gemini. It's like, they just, on a, like this empress receiving on a silver platter from the universe, they received the negative karma, bad karma on a platter. But they dished it out to themselves with that one simple choice. Choose love. I guess why that's why the judgment comes out a lot too is because many are called to service by spirit but very few are chosen very few are chosen <clears throat> you get a call from the universe that says hi this is me god yeah, I would like you to work for me. It's unlimited resources, unlimited income. Oh, yeah, and you get to have a great life with the person that I'm sending you. And uh, what? You're passing? Not interested. Oh, okay. Click. <laughs> Seriously. They're being bullheaded. They better name that part about themselves that refuses to see that because they are dishing out their own karma in droves. And the more that they try to deny it and the more that they try to cover it up and the more that they try to like pretend they didn't do anything wrong. The worse it's going to get. Until they absolutely have no choice but to submit. Not to the Empress, to the universe. They got to admit what they did they're not they could have been an emperor they they were on their way to being they were a king but they were on their way to being an emperor and now they're all all the most the ever achieve is king status and that's on a good day And the honest truth is, they're in love with this empress. They're in love with the empress. But they didn't think that the empress was good enough for them. They just abandoned the empress. That's what they did. Abandoned the relationship. <laughs> this person was their best friend as well as their lover their comrade their left arm their right arm and likely they didn't realize it but i think their ego went to their head i'm sorry but you know, most people on this earth, like, I mean, we have, what, 8 billion people on the planet?
and like 144,000 are are chosen and this person gives a hang up call to God okay then <laughs> all right everybody is born with an intuition Everybody is born with an intuition. Every single person. And they just didn't listen to it. They are reaping their own karma. Like they delivered karma out to themselves. It's like this empress came. Maybe the empress's job. I don't know, is to go around delivering karma. You know what I mean? Like testing as a test, you know, of integrity, of loyalty, of devotion. It's like a test, you know? Oh, what's that, God? How, well, how much money is in the deal? Oh, God says, oh, it's like a legacy. It's uh, undisclosed about. You know, the sky is the limit here. Ah, but they're broke. They don't have that much money. I'm going for somebody who has something. At least I can get status out of it. It'll look good. <laughs> That's what my son would say, derp. Derp. Okay, then. Have it your own way, <laughs> you know. But it don't matter anyway, because the Empress's energy is all around these folks. Because they emit that true love, that goddess-like energy. They're aura there people have auras and the empress's aura is that of uncomparable so you go for the outside or you go for the inside not saying the empress is ugly because the empress is not ugly they're beautiful souls and it's soul recognition <laughs> the this person's like but I want somebody that looks like this all the pretty girls walk like this this right <laughs> it's true. The Empress is like, man, I gotta go to work in that garden again. I've got a lot of work to do here. I hope I get it all done. They don't have the prettiest lifestyles, but they got their prettiest souls. Take care, Gemini. <laughs>